October 17th, we'll have our global poverty campaign. And the steering committee did work to come up with four action items that we can do in our schools or in our, um, in our after school clubs or wherever um, we think, our sports teams, wherever we think um, it's feasible to do it. So we came up with four different components. Um, and the first one would be education. So you can like, depending how much time you have or how comfortable you feel, you can educate um, your class or um, you know, at, at a morning assembly or whatever about, um, about poverty. So we have a one hour activity, that's a game. You're gonna get all this in the pack that I was talking about. We will receive it over email. Oh, that's okay, I think. Oh, that's okay. I think. <laughs> It'll be okay. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hi. It's a yoga dog. Bambi. 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 Does that mean that we're not really going to talk about like what's going into the packet? That you guys are just going to decide that as like steering committee? Well, that's what we're going to do now. We, the like, steering committee came up with this, and we want to get like your approval and see what if you oh, okay. like. So we still like, get to decide kind of what goes into we, So we still get to kind of decide what goes into it. Yeah, oh, uh -huh. okay. definitely. So the first component would be education, and since you might only have like. You might have a whole class period, you might have like an hour or 10 minutes. Um, so we thought in the packet we could include a one hour activity, something like interactive, like a game. And then um, some films, like if you have the opportunity, you could show a film um, either in your class or after school or um, whatever. And then also like a 10 minute teach-in. So if that day you could, um, all your classes that you go to, um, do a t 10 minute teach-in like about global poverty. Um, and then the second component, which, um, could be linked with this is to write a letter letter to our senators um, for the Education for All Act and have um, people in our classes sign them or people in our schools sign that and then we'd send them all in back to me and we send the whole packet to our senators. Um, so that would be the advocacy piece. That'd be awesome if you guys wanted to write that. Um, and then the third piece is public awareness. So that's like getting like a lot of people in our schools involved and just like um, you know raising awareness among the general populations. Um, so for that, we chose, we were thinking we could do Stand Up Against Poverty. Remember we did that last year? There was like that huge campaign for everyone to stand up against poverty. And if we got over, how many people was it? We, they needed like, there was 23 million people who stood up. They only needed like 20,000 to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, so cool. And they got 23 million. So they're trying to beat that again this year. So that's a component you can do. Um, you can get kids in your classroom to stand up or at a morning assembly or do it over the PA system and get the whole school to do it. Um, and then you send those numbers into me and we'll submit them as a group. Um, and then also wearing um, white bands and white clothing um, for global poverty. And also on the stand-up thing, there was like a banner campaign, Marissa. Do you remember that? Yeah. They, uh, they ask a bunch of people to create these really big banners. And I think that if um, you want to send it into them and they're going to make this really big, humongous, like really huge banner. It has to be three meters by one meter. They said that it can be as colorful as you want and um, say whatever you want. I think they have some slogans on bannersagainstpoverty.com or .org, bannersagainstpoverty.org. And um, I don't know, so I was like, we were gonna hang one in our school maybe, like on a big white sheet and just have a ton of people come and color them and make it awesome and hang it up. And it's a really cool awareness raising thing. And then the fourth component would be, because I know sometimes people like to do fundraising, um, so if you wanted to do an activity that raised funds, um, we have a project um, in Bolivia that um, is around education um, for people, you know, for kids in the communities that Plan works in. So that's what we would donate that project to. So all this, and we can do all of it, or do we have to choose? You can, you can choose. You can choose to do like a teaching and stand up, or you can you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. The, I think the stand up against poverty that has to take place on the 17th in like a time period. But um, you know, the day you, the day before you could do, or two days before you could do the education piece. The next day you could do the advocacy piece, and make it like so people like keep thinking about it. Yeah. Okay.